Hey guys, Arena Stories here, and today I just wanted to make a video showing what Priebus items you can get for the 30th, because that is when Arena comes out. First off guys, we have our PvP set. Now, this was supposed to be released on the 30th, but Blizzard did hotfix it and released it a bit early. We have the Bloodthirsty gear that you can find in the Valley of Honor. Now, this gear is super easy to farm, guys. It'll take literally a day, maybe less. As you can see, we have five sets, the helm, chest, legs boots and shoulders now what you guys want to do is equip every single item that is in the pvp slot reason why guys is for the set bonus as you guys can see with the first set you get 400 resilience the second set you get 70 agility and the fourth set you gain 90 agility and the main thing 10 energy which will help you with your burst the next reason why you guys want to equip this is for the raid finder to do heroic dungeons now as a rogue most of your prebis will come from heroic dungeons guys like your dagger and a few off pieces and not to mention the valor badges that you can obtain by going into heroic dungeons so for example guys with our valor points you can get the bis season one cloak for pvp and pve viewless wing which has 190 agility and 286 stamina, including hit rating and critical strike. This does cost 1,250 points, but it is well worth it, guys. Now, why did I suggest wearing full PvP set? The reason why, guys, is to get the item requirement level, which is 329. As you can see here, I am only 327. I am still gearing my rogue. I need to get a few more PvP sets. And what you guys want to do is the second you do get, you just want to spam the Cataclysm Heroic Dungeons until you get the Bis Dagger you can get from Shadowfang Keep and yes, has been reworked and now is a Heroic Dungeon and has the best dagger from the last boss that you would find in Vanilla WoW, Meteor Shard. But before you guys go there, I would highly recommend if you are below 85, I would get this dagger, Long Knife. Now you can get this from the Twilight Zone guys. It is a small quest chain to hit level 84 and you go into any major city. Now, if you guys remember TBC, the quest chain Ring of Blood, where you needed five team members to kill bosses, it is the exact same thing, but just any new zone. And you do get the stagger. It is extremely, extremely good, guys. It is pre-bis, 850 damage. Now, that does scale with mutilate and ambush. So it is good for both PvP and PvE. Now, I want to show you guys a couple of ways that you can farm honor to get you can get PvP sets with really, really fast. First being is Tol Barat. You can get a lot of honor from it. So I would highly recommend coming here, queuing for this. Now, the other thing I would recommend, guys, is Winter Grasp. Winter Grasp still does give a lot of honor. So I would highly recommend capping there as well. And of course, the last way is from Battlegrounds. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the Tol Barat items. So as you can see here, we have Dagger of the Restless Knights in which you need revered with Hellscream's reach. Now this will take quite some time and a lot of Tolbarod commendation in order to get, which is 85. So I would highly recommend just getting my dagger guys, which you can get at level 84 from the Ring of Blood quest chain. It is extremely fast. And then heading over to the Cataclysm Heroic Dungeon, and getting into Shadowfan Keep and killing the last boss for Meteor Shard. Now Meteor Shard, since there is currently no PvP weapons available since Season 1 of Arena did not start yet. And as your offhand, you can go into a heroic dungeon as well. Now for your offhand, you can get any quick dagger, 1.40 speed, in order to get those poison applications. If you are playing, if you are using Shadow Dance and Ambush. If you are playing Mutilate, guys, I would highly recommend going for Long Lake Long Knife and Steelbender Masterpiece, which you can get from Stonecore. And yeah, that is about it, guys. Just wanted to share what I am doing currently before Season 1 starts. And as always, thank you for watching.